Welcome to this session of the Dean Lee Field Day. Uh, I'm Vince Desitel, Central Region uh, Extension Livestock Agent. And uh, today we're going to talk about one of the limiting factors of beef production, and that is controlling and managing horn flies. Uh, there's no real way to control horn flies. Uh, we can manage them at best, and there, we estimate, or it's estimated through studies, that uh, horn flies cost the beef cattle producer uh, one to two million dollars annually, both in net losses and also with uh, the control mechanisms. Um, so there's several ways we can uh, attempt to manage horn flies, and one would be to begin with cultural practices uh, by cleaning or sanitation of feeding areas from leftover winter feeding periods, uh, by managing those old hay piles where horn flies uh, breed and, and persist and live. It's uh, perfect habitat for them, if you would. So uh, managing those, those old hay piles from the winter feeding season is going to help greatly. Uh, rotating pastures, always having a clean pasture to go to uh, as far as managing your forages. Uh, moving cattle seems to help with managing horn flies. Uh, but the alternatives are uh, that we, you know, we have to go to some biological means of control and also some chemical means. So uh, we want to start by, you know, you have to eliminate populations in order to, to gain some control or to manage horn flies. So we have several different methods that we have here today to exhibit. Uh, the first being a dust bag, uh, not commonly used, but, but somewhat used uh, with bulls in staging areas where they can get on them and rub. Uh, there are several insecticides uh, in a dust form that can be placed in these bags, uh, can, can suffice and manage those uh, immediate populations. But in order to do so, uh, there are a number of uh, poor own insecticides for larger herds that may use these types of guns. Uh, there, there are a number of different insecticides that have some residual. Uh, we have a, um, one of the newer uh, versions of the VetTech gun, uh, which is, uh, allows, uh, if, if you have a problem suspect animal uh, that you can't bring into uh, your, your management area or your pens, uh, you can apply a vet uh, insecticide through the vet tech gun, uh, which is a very handy tool. Um, for staging areas where cows come to stage and drink and uh, spend the heat of the day, uh, where you typically have the higher populations of your uh, horn flies uh, through congregation and, you know, the, the fecal matter and, um, you know, just through their staging area. We have a a typical back rub here that would be strung out in an area where they can access it, either going to and from water or somewhere where they, they have immediate passage through. Uh, these bullets are also handy uh, to hang on the ends of the, the, uh, the uh, back rubs so in, they can get this around their face and on, onto their, uh, their, their facial parts where they can get some control. Uh, once eliminating a population of horn flies, uh, there are a number of different insecticide tags that are, that are widely used. Uh, however, you must follow manufactured label instructions because some of these uh, tags require two tags per individual animal. Some require one. Uh, generally, you'll get about uh, two to three months, maybe up to four months, depending on environmental conditions out of these uh, insecticide tags. You must also make sure you have the appropriate gun, application gun for the insecticide tags because uh, some of these have different manufacturers. So um, that's about what we have to cover today. And in order to maintain that population, uh, we also recommend an IGR type mineral. Uh, there are several mineral manufacturers out there that offer this type of product. Uh, also in a lick tub version, uh, a lot of your uh, major retailers across uh, and feed dealers have uh, what's available to you in a, in a lick tub. So, um, it's important to knock that population off with some type of topical uh, treatment. Uh, also, we want to remind you that a lot of our, our dewormers uh, offer some topical application with a systemic uh, that's going to give you some several months of protection uh, that we can, you know, we can utilize in our arsenal to uh, fight hornfly populations. Mm -hmm.